scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I've seen men and women of God who organize meetings and after the prayer and fast, members don't bring money, they only bring vision. Sir, I saw the meeting, a success, it is done. And he said, do you know how much the board that is? He said, it is done, sir. I'm telling you, I know what I saw. And he will pray with you and go back. And you stand there and say, God, did you call me or not? And God says, remember seven years ago when I told you to settle down and learn my ways. You criticize me, God. And you criticize everything. And because I respect your will, I said, all right, you continue. And now the deficiency of knowing that way of God is telling on you now. So you are anointed, you have encounters, but you cannot build a church that works because you know nothing about leadership. You thought it was unnecessary until while you are preaching, someone is fetching the money of the church. And you think that God is that dull to have allowed it happen. You're not knowing his ways. Then you find out that you never can be able to have up to 100 members. What is wrong? I'm anointed. I just came back from heaven. Members say, so what? You will continue going to heaven and coming back and finding out that there is no growth. Because something about the system is not there. So when Jesus was born, at age 12, he was in the temple learning learning and then at age 30 he comes to be empowered and begins to do ministry and then he returns back to god from where he came it is god his ways god listen god his ways his ways does not mean you will leave him it doesn't mean you will not pray and you will not fast no but God, because you are governed with time, you cannot do everything at the pace you started and have the time to... It takes time to learn. You may pray 10 hours every day and instruction from God for five months. But you do that that way, you will not have the time for other things. So you will find out that God has a system because even that did not happen by your strength. And so God helps you. And then you begin to learn. The Holy Spirit says, go to a catering school. You say, God forbid. With all these visions I'm seeing. Until you see that it destroys your life. Son, I need you to learn. I don't want you to, to be an inefficient person. You have to learn the laws of greatness. And you say, Lord, I'm going to the nations. You are not going alone. There are people there and not all of them are born again. So he needs to teach you how to be a sheep among wolves. Lord, I don't care. All I know is that I'm going to be great. Apostle has said it. We will all be great and we all know ourselves. Yes. Yes. It's true. But you must know his ways. So here you are as a born again person. And then you have the opportunity to meet a man, a captain of industry. And you do not know the principles of relationship. You don't know the principles of friendship. You don't know how to translate the reality of God's life to relate to a context. 
and you stand there this is an opportunity to not just win a man but win an industry to christ you know him but you're not knowing his ways i love jesus nicodemus comes to jesus by night and says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him he would have said wonderful Nicodemus said, verily, verily, I mean, Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, so on and so forth. And when he led that Nicodemus, do you know that Nicodemus was a secret follower of Jesus? He learned his ways. He shall teach us his ways. Koinonia, hear me. You must understand the way God is training you. Sometimes you see us sit down and for over one or two months, all the emphasis is on finance and the rest. And sometimes I can almost discern that when these teachings are coming, here's the spirit of religion again. Two months teaching on money. is money everything. We, we need the presence of God. I see the joy on some of your faces as soon as I stand and I say, the Lord is showing me something. And someone is shouting, you know, people that this is koinonia. Now these are koinonia, not this backsliding version. And you keep allowing the spirit of religion. You see, a student does not define the curriculum. No, your job is to sit in the class with your heart open. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. Listen, you will thank me for what you are learning. Because you will pastor a people who are balanced. After service, they have cars to go back home. They have houses that they can serve the Lord in. They have influence enough to bless the Lord. Yet in the midst of it, they will roll from pillar to post. Do not allow the spirit of religion destroy your peace. Do not allow the spirit of religion to corrupt you. Do not even allow the biases and the imbalances that we carry as men of God to corrupt the accuracy of your pursuit. There is only one architect who designs this pathway, Jesus himself, the author, the finisher. A lot of people see what God is doing in and through my life around the body of Christ. A man of God asks me and says, Apostle, you are a very strange man. There are different churches that you can go to and minister. How do they accept you? Is it that they don't listen to your message in other churches? For instance, maybe a very conservative church. I can finish a conference there right now. And the very next meeting may not be as conservative as. Is it that they don't know? It's not usual for people to receive guests like that. And I tell them there is something he taught me about the body. It's a mystery. Your results show what you know or you don't know. When the body receives you, there is a grace, there is knowledge that has come. This is what I'm teaching you. So you don't become a Christian that will, because of your imbalance, as a man of God, you join the campaign of fighting every other person too. Who are you for? Paul or Apollos? Are you seeing that now? And many of us have been raised that way, sadly. Oh, I am not this man of God. This one in this country is my papa. This one is my this. This one in my... And you join the campaign of fight. Whereas there is something you can know. And the gates of the body as an entity can be open for you. Is God blessing you? This is what you are learning, my brothers and my sisters. You are learning principles principles i bless the lord for granting me the grace to be the one teaching you this because see if i didn't walk in the anointing it usually will mean that i'm trivializing those things because they are not captured in my life that's why it's powerful to be balanced because your teaching will be believed you have a system of defense for every dimension 
Hallelujah. Tomorrow, I'm in Mina. Sunday, I'm in Mina. Monday, I'm in Abuja. Tuesday, I'm in Eboi. Wednesday, I'm in Eboi. I'm coming back on Thursday. Imagine, let's be honest, in the name of honesty, imagine if I had only two clothes and 10,000 naira for Chisco transport. Do you, I, 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 please, I'm not, I'm not, is this not, I just want you to think sincerely. Do you know how I will be forced to manipulate those people? I will carry the anger of my pain and say something God did not say and preach something God did not preach. Not because I am bad. And then here is the risk. All through the road in the night, 12 hours, you preach back to back 12 hours. You are back and then everything starts again. It's not a blessing. I can tell you it's not a blessing. You will never be able to have time to seek the Lord. Imagine that you want to have a Bible study and commit yourself and someone is quarreling and they are raising their voices and distracting you you are in a vision you don't even go far you are back because the noise koinonia let me tell you what god is making out of your life you will love what you are becoming you may not love the training now but my brothers and my sisters listen to me god's integrity is back of what is happening to you and a day will come people will look at you and say sir why are you such a man of god what what's responsible for the balance and and the depth of efficiency and you will tell them let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength and let the rich man not glory in his riches but let him that glory a glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me my journey starts with God but I'm careful enough to observe the things that he's teaching me that will be responsible for my results and it will recycle time back to help me serve the Lord there are times that I prepare an average of 18 to 20 sermons per week 18 to 20 sermons per week aside from specialized sessions and counseling sessions you ignore this that I'm teaching you a day will come you will not have messages again as a man of God and you say it does not matter and then members will leave and you will call it an attack because you do not know the ways of God they know not neither will they understand psalm 82 and verse 5 they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course he said but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes I'd like you to pray you won't believe that I've not even started my sermon for this night. I, I, I didn't even realize that the time had gone. But I'd like you to passionately cry. Think of your children while you are crying. Think of those called to your destiny while you are. Don't be selfish. It's about you but not all about you. Cry to the Lord. lord i thank you for revealing a dimension of yourself but now that you are teaching me your ways give me the grace to stay give me the grace to stay lord i thought the time that i've been spending in the last two years studying i've even been afraid why are the visions not coming like before again now i'm learning that it's a season and a phase it's not necessarily proof of backsliding I have come to a point where you are working on me. You are giving me intelligence to be effective.
Please pray. I want to inspire a generation to reflect you correctly. Abarada kata proska de balas, hebrende gede lakato sada brahas kadabai. My children should not suffer while I seek you. My family should not suffer while I seek your face. It takes time to know you. Oh God, awaken me from slumber so that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. So that I can redeem the time because the days are evil. I don't want to spend my life chasing after mundane things, chasing after money, chasing after power that at the end of your life, when you should be seeking him, you are now learning his ways. They that seek me early, early, they that seek me early shall find me. Hallelujah. The Bible says they are life to those who find them. They are not information to those who find them. They are information to those who hear them. But they are life to those who find them. The kingdom of God is like a pearl that is missing. And someone lights a candle and begins to sweep that room. And when he finds it, the kingdom of God is like a treasure that a man finds gold in a property and goes to sell all he has to buy it. There are ways to redeem the time. Listen, let me tell you. Look at me. In the 60s and the 70s, nobody, people took jobs for granted right from 500 level or 400 level. You could come with jobs. Nobody knew that today will be an information age, a digital age that will replace jobs. So people had the luxury to not focus on some things. But times have changed. And the sons of Issachar, there is a generation of Issachar that had the understandings. The, the fact that God is not doing a thing the way he did 30 years ago does not mean he's, the one, he's not the one doing it. Listen, let me teach you this. For every dispensation, there is a strategy. When Samson, listen, when Samson saw the Philistines, the spirit of the Lord came upon him and he took the jawbone of an ass, a donkey, and he killed all of them. When he killed the Philistines, he looked at the bone and threw it. Why do you throw what works? I just used a strategy and defeated an army and yet i'm leaving it to wait for another one many of us will hold that bone and idolize it and even when the bone has no life again you will keep moving with it one time he will tell you let the people go through the water other times he will tell you stand still there is always a strategy for every generation don't borrow a strategy that is not applicable Joshua had to wait. What is the strategy to bring down Jericho? And he said, this one is not about warfare. Let the priests lead the way. This is the strategy. There are times that the men of war would lead the way. There were times it was not just the priest, the worshippers. What is the strategy for this generation? Do you know? 
Or do you believe it's the same strategy for everyone? It's a joke. God, who in sundry times and diverse manners, spake to us through the fathers, hath in these last days, in these last days, spoken to us through his son, whom he has appointed to be heir over all things. So there was a time, in sundry times and diverse manners, he used a strategy, but in these last days, there is a strategy. Just because a strategy worked, does not mean God is interested in using it again. Give us this day. Not give us once and forever. Give us this day. For every day there will be a strategy. Oh Elijah, for a while it will be at Brook Cherith. That's the strategy for your survival. Position yourself at Brook Cherith and a raven will come. But the, the, the brook is dried up. Elijah, hear the word for another strategy. Otherwise you would die at Brook Cherith. Whereas God has relocated your blessing through another strategy. You held the jawbone of an ass. It killed in 1960. It killed in 1970. But the arsenals of hell changed their strategy. And we refused to go back. Because we learned the principles very slowly. And we ignored the presence. Many people are applying principles that do not have a corresponding power in the realm of the spirit. That is why the results do not show. I remember the time, and I say this respectfully so, when God told me I want to open your eyes to see the key to church growth. I had not seen it. I, I'm, look, let me tell you something. I have studied the largest churches in every continent with all humility. The day I saw it, I said, this is it not the church growth of the fathers the church growth of the future the way they built the tabernacle in the wilderness was not the way they built solomon's temple the strategies are different the goal is that he inhabits them but the patterns are different listen to me if you get what i'm teaching you you will be blessed there are people generations past could ignore certain things but there are generations that if you ignore certain things in the 60s and 70s you could see a a trader keep banana or something and not even be there you will carry the banana put it in the leather and drop the money there but he says the times he says the days are evil are we together now You couldn't have somebody just come and cheat you and betray you and stab you for nothing because the pressure to make for that is not there. But the hardship of men has helped them to invent wickedness. Didn't the Bible tell you that the end times will be like the days of Noah? What characterized the days of Noah? Wickedness multiplied. And so you need the strategy. You carry the naivety of decades past. And you find out that you are, on, you are unfruitful to the church. Listen, let me tell you this. I will use names respectfully and honorably. Papa Ia Deboye represents the face of a generation. Are we together now? He represents God and a dimension of his working to a generation. If I go to Papa Ia Deboye's generation, no matter, I've, I've ministered many, many times in those circles, and no matter how powerful my ministration is, the people love me, but they may not listen to my messages because David served his generation. Are we together? Even if I cut promises head and carry it and put it back, are we together now? It will never stop anybody from crowding and camping around redemption camp. I went for a conference recently and we had to route through another way because two major ministries were having a regular meeting and the entire road was blocked. It was a strategy for that generation. Everyone that caught the strategy, the results have to show. There are others who passed and didn't get it. It's very clear they didn't get it. So we must stand like Habakkuk. I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower. God, what are you saying for my generation? What is the strategy for survival? 
What is the strategy for survival? There were no Facebooks to criticize a man of God those days. But now, oh God, that is easy for darkness to attack a man. What is the strategy? Hmm. Are we together now? Yes. People were a lot more loyal in the times of our parents and our time. They can love a man no matter what is right or wrong. But our generation is a vocal generation. A lawyer can stand up and say you are stupid for thinking we are idiots. He will listen to you and after service he will analyze your message and sue you to court. Because you abuse my privacy. There were certain levels of um, being raw and outspoken that our fathers could afford in their generation. You try it now, you will die because you are speaking to nations they had the luxury to say certain things in certain ways you are not bending the truth you are receiving a strategy because you are speaking to people who are global in context and you must be able to translate divine realities to make meaning to a generation you can't talk to everybody as if you are talking to those who are in your locality when Jesus came and found an agrarian society, he converted the realities of the kingdom into agricultural terms to relate to the then civilization and they understood. Listen to me. Ministry is not just about the anointing. There is a skill. There is a science. There is a psychology for effective ministry. It's much more than just having the ability to do an exegesis of scripture. It's a combination of many factors playing behind the scene. People don't just love you because you are telling the truth. Mm -mm. It is not just truth itself that saves. It is how it is presented. You can serve me water. Please help me with this. There are two ways to serve me water. Here is one way. Apostle, please take water and drink. You serve me water. The water is not wrong. But I will hate you because of your service. You did not serve it to present honor. You can do this to a footballer. In the football field. And he will not be angry. It's the ethic of it. In fact, the skill of receiving it will be an accolade. But now when you come to me. And you carry this and throw it. The same thing you did in the field that they clap for you. You do it here. They will curse you. You must understand the intelligence that comes with territory and systems. Oh dear, this is not a pastor's conference. Please sit down. In the name of Jesus, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. The spirit of this prayer and fasting is upon me. Ah. Second Peter chapter 1, Jesus. You know, sometimes when I come looking, which one do I omit? And which one just boils in my spirit? And I'm looking, which one do I omit? And which one do I say? Because I truly, truly want you to get it. Many of you will have churches in the future. You will see how exceptional your churches will be. Yes, yes, yes. The grace that is upon you is, is too much for a member. No, God is training you. I mean, no, 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 no. This is not the grace that just keeps you. You are representing a nation and a territory. So you are listening for the sake of nations that might not be hearing now. Second Peter 1, help us Holy Spirit. Hmm. Verse 2. Let me just tie up something and we'll pray this night. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Verse 3. Read with me. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things. Stop. Read it again and stop at things. Ready? One, two, read. One more time. So, let's reverse it. 
all things are given unto us according or by his divine power listen carefully all things are delivered to the saints how faith is only a connector to his divine power the system that makes for reception in the kingdom is the agency of his divine power as powerful as faith is faith is like a funnel are we together the funnel connects the container and the one you want to put under so that's what faith does faith in itself does not produce miracles does not produce breakthrough are we together faith you know is just your conviction and the action you take to validate that conviction are we still together so the bible says according as his divine power let's work this a little tonight that means there are results if i see arrive your life the agency that made it so regardless of what principle you obeyed the principle only made way for his divine power if his divine power cannot be released there is no performance i don't know if you get what i'm saying yes let me give you an illustration look up please everyone what is inside this bottle water i i hope you know that there are different ways to package water are we together now let me interpret this every time you are thirsty what quenches the thirst is water how it comes may be different are we together now yes it can be packaged in a bottle it can even be packaged in in you know all kinds of ways but if at all your thirst is quenched the factor that quenched it is water the bottle that brought it and the system of packaging is not the issue is that the central factor that quenches test is what water so the bible says thank you according as his divine power listen carefully his divine power does not give some things it gives what that means you need to study what the bible tells you gives all things according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertains unto life and godliness that means if i am not obtaining i am not engaging something that makes available his divine power listen 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 if i prosper his divine power hath given me prosperity there's a set of kingdom principles i engage but then when i engage them what will come is still his divine power in physics we teach that energy cannot be created nor destroyed i'm helping you prepare for jam tomorrow for those of you who are writing jam be surprised to find out that that's your first question <laughs> Are we together now but that it can be converted from one form to another are we are we together on that that means every time you see any manifestation of energy it is the same energy it is just different forms of it that the same electricity can turn to power this and then can produce sound here that means if i hear sound energy made it so if this fan is turning energy I, I i get i get what i'm saying now and so regardless of what result you are looking for his divine power the way you engage his divine power for different situations may differ but that the factor that is responsible for giving the saints all things is his divine power the more of his divine power that works in me, the more the possibility of obtaining all things become in my life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Follow me carefully. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3, please. Spiritual understanding. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 popular scripture look up please and let's read it's projected one two read 
stop. Who is the him? God. So who has the ability? God's ability is not in doubt. Now unto him who is able to do, uh-huh, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Stop. He's about to introduce a condition that can make all what he just said to happen or not. And the condition is according to the power that walks, not lives, not dwells. According to the power that walks, not according to the power that lives in us. Mm. The possibilities are not according to the power that you possess. It is the dimension of the power that is released. The power that walks, not the power that lives, not the power that resides. Listen to me. That's why we can have the same power. We can have the same anointing. And our possibilities are different because of the power that walks, not the power that is in you. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that walketh, 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 the power that is engaged, the power that is produced in us. Are we together? We can have the same Holy Spirit, but the power that is released through sister A, brother A may differ. Hence, they are actualizing the possibilities that God said would be. Many times I have found out the issue is really not more power. It is the grace and the understanding to activate the power that resides within you. They did not need to go and bring new bread and new fish. Something was done and that in itself was enough. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please understand this. It is according to the power that worketh in us. According to the power, not lives in us. If God spoke that way, it would be unfair. Because the same Lord is rich unto all. Are we together? We have been made to drink of the same spirit. But the dimension to which we have released the power of God and the investment of the spirit within us differ. This is the difference. So my possibilities and your possibilities may differ. The factor is not God. The factor may not even sometimes be the anointing. It is, I have done something to make a greater room for the power to not just live, but to walk in and through me. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So the power that we allow to find expression through us determines the possibilities that come. And there are many ways to make the power work in us. That's why we are spending these seven days to give room. I'll just tell you two quickly and we'll pray. One way that you can cause the power to be at work in you is through enlightenment and transformation. The power of God is limited to your belief system, your paradigm. I've taught you this. According to the power that works, that works, that works. I've given this example here. Some of our fathers, great fathers of faith who lived in the 40s, 50s and 60s, many of them were heavily anointed but because some of them did not go to school, some of them could not speak many languages. Are we together? The limitation in their mindset did not allow the power of God invested in them to be fully manifest. Now, those fathers, as crude as they were, they now anointed other younger people with an enlightened mind, with intelligence, and you see the potential manifesting enlightenment and transformation is one way to activate the power that works within you there are possibilities that will never find expression until they pass through an enlightened mind
We'll soon pray. Come, Sam. Please look up, everybody. Sam, in this example, is a mighty prophet of God with a great prophetic grace. But Sam is not so enlightened in this example. Are we together? So his understanding of the word is very, very small. Or there's nothing there. And then his general enlightenment in terms of knowledge, in terms of the knowledge about life is small. We both have the same anointing. You are going to see that the possibilities that flow forth from our lives will be very different in spite of the fact that the same Lord is rich unto all. Are we together now? Let me give you an example. Two of you, please come stand. Let's assume that this gentleman and lady uh, husband and wife are we together now the lord is revealing to me watch this now sam can come as a prophet the divine power is at work in him and sam can see a horn on this girl's head what did he see and he can see fingers like that of a witch this is what his vision is telling him there is no enlightenment to properly translate what he's seeing to the edifying of the people. So he will announce it from the limitation of his mindset. His sight was correct, but the divine power is limited. And he, can, he will just say, Madam, you are a witch and you are a devil. Oga, you married a witch and you've been smiling. Why will your business move forward? And he can even recommend that the way forward is what? This guy has misrepresented what God can do. God can do better than that. But because he is anointed but not enlightened, there is so much power in him, but very little is working. Are you getting that now? The only power that is allowed to work is the power to see. The power to interpret is not allowed. Because enlightenment did not activate it now this guy is still a prophet of god but he will keep destroying marriages in his church for instance are we together now now stand again i have the opportunity to now prophesy and i'm not only anointed i am enlightened meaning that i understand the systems and the ways of god are we together the moment i see a horn on this precious lady listen i know that there is a difference between bewitching there is a difference between being a witch and there is a difference between being manipulated by darkness when i see this my understanding helps me to interpret it well and so i know that the problem is not this lady she may be connected to something territorial that god is trying to show me so i separate the influence from the person now more of god's power and possibilities can now flow by reason of my enlightenment and by so doing, I can set this lady free. Are we together now? And then I can redeem this family. Still yet, I can even be more enlightened. And after I deliver them, I know that there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted. It is preached. It's called deliverance through knowledge. It is not enough for this lady to be delivered from the spirit influences. I've taught you this she must be reoriented to understand the ways of god to know who she is in christ to help her understand the principles that make for victory three approaches same anointing his divine power he's able to do this according the power lives in us but how much of it works in you that will determine your result so when your mind expands more of the power of god can flow through you many times people come to me and they say apostle more anointing i say what exactly are you looking for say result i say do you really believe that if i pray for you they don't even listen they say yes sir just just do it and i say mm -hmm. how many people pray for you a b c d did anything change no that means that you are like a tap that has refused to open they connected you to a dam but you have limited the water to come by drops are you seeing that now so you are wondering why a bucket has not been full even after two weeks because the water is limited to the opening if i can help you open the more you can fill the same bucket you don't have to change the reservoir 
that expansion and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped that's why we need enlightenment just because we are spiritual does not mean we ignore enlightenment you can see how for instance god saves this marriage otherwise if this enlightenment is not there and i don't interpret it well this man will go you, do you think will you eat your wife's food if you hear that kind of blind prophecy with no interpretation and then she brings all kinds of things fish fish mermaids with fish say you now brought the one from the sea for me this night you would have even brought cow or something we continue to make a fool of God's power because the enlightenment that makes that power a blessing is the same thing like power coming from Nepa or Nitel. Are we together? And then you have a wire just caught and somebody just touches it. It was not channeled properly and so it is not controlled well. This is it. You can be a pastor heavily anointed but because of the low level of your enlightenment the power of god may not be able to flow did you know let me tell you something many dimensions of the spirit of god that is at work in my life is at work in the life of many people especially young ministers around and people hate them because there is the same anointing the interpretation and the system of dispensing that power has been refined through enlightenment so that I can let the power of God flow in a meeting and I can let it flow in a way and manner that relates to the thinking of that ministry. Hmm. There are people who are very intellectual and seeing the power of God flow like that may create a lot of controversy. And so you need to come like Paul from the standpoint of a scribe and a Pharisee the anointing will have to follow the channel of knowledge you are going to have to con to convince them by the soundness of theology and scripture that becomes the host by which that power flows they are able to receive it because the depth of your balance and your theological exegesis will keep them in awe and they will know that whoever must have received this level of intelligence this power must be of god notice how paul made his defense from city to city when he met ignorant people he just said this idol is the god you are looking for when he met intelligent people he said no don't call i'm a pharisee i'm a pharisee i'm learned everybody say enlightenment it's very important you don't go to talk to a team of business experts and and entrepreneurs and great people around and you just stand and say don't worry just use your heart and right now as i'm speaking somebody is going to shout don't worry you will not understand you are unfruitful they will drive you out of that place you are anointed but you are short-circuiting the power because enlightenment has not allowed a greater dimension of the power to work in you are we together the second way you can allow this to happen is through prayer and fasting. Thank you. Prayer and fasting is a system that among other things principally deals with the issue of unbelief. But it can expand your capacity in the spirit. It is true. It is true. The disciples could not cast out a certain epileptic spirit. And Jesus told them this kind. That means there are many kinds. This kind goeth not except. Listen, listen. Don't argue with Jesus. This kind goeth not, but by prayer and fasting. There were certain people who bound themselves and said they would not eat until Paul died. Prayer and fasting. There are, there are spiritual strategies that can allow more of the power of God that is resident within you to be activated and to be at work in you. When a man sets himself to pray and fast, it's not just starvation. My brothers and sisters, hear me. There is no man I know or woman of God that is being mightily used by God with genuine power, genuine power, genuine power that is not a student of fasting and prayer. It's a joke. There are certain spiritual loads 
you cannot carry until that stamina is there oh god give me give me and god said this thing will drop and crush you into pieces but when you get to the place of prayer and fasting it's like walking out you may not know the changes are happening to you but you just continue so while you are praying and you are fasting you are praying and you are fasting many things are happening and then you will see that there is grace you may not even know until the day you go for a meeting and they say brother can you come and share in this fellowship and you come as a brother your name is about to change you just stand and say can we all rise up to pray and you find out that people cannot stand up again what happened his divine power god is saying you have given me more space now see what that more space can do let me tell you this when i started out in ministry we're going to pray i noticed that certain sicknesses and diseases will never go I never got testimonies in those areas. It bothered me for a while. I said, God, what is this? There are gifts of healing. Yes, I studied all of them. T.L. lost born. And at a point in time, I studied, I studied, you know, classifications of sicknesses. I studied all kinds of rabbinical writings, 39 straps on Jesus, 40 less one. I studied them and this thing was not working. Pregnant women were never getting pregnant. If I prayed, even me, I knew they wouldn't get pregnant. Yet I was anointed. How can people be falling under the anointing and certain possibilities were not coming? I said, Lord, what is the key? And then God called me and said, the anointing is there, but your capacity is small. I said, I know the key. You would think you are not doing anything. You just continue. You are expanding your capacity. A day will come, you will look at that woman. Whereas you would have prayed before as if you are fixing the tire of a car sweating around a pregnant woman to get her pregnant if this thing is not there it's not there jesus looks at the epileptic patient and rebukes a deaf and dumb spirit and it's done so we can be singing praise and worship in this place and this brother is sitting on a wheelchair and i come man of god man of signs and wonders just because you saw one or two things in a crusade ground you don't vet your capacity just say in, in my name they shall cast out devils and you even have the effrontery to tell the man uh, you think you are get beautiful do you know how long these guys were coming at from the hour of prayer not not from from lunch the hour of prayer and you would call the name of Jesus and say stand up and they are already clapping for you in advance and you lift the guy and he's shaking walk the guy say, I'm that good. will I lie and you just say sit down quietly let me tell you what went wrong please believe me it is never the power of God it is that the level of grace and anointing that needs to flow to correct that thing your capacity cannot carry it now many men of god will not be humble enough to receive this thing they will say this guy doesn't have faith it's a lie it's a lie i always take responsibility for miracles that don't happen and then as i began to stay with god the more i started seeing certain possibilities newer testimonies and cases I remember one of the most frustrating one was this HIV thing. That thing would not go at all. And the people who always tell, test themselves and let me know. Sir, it's still there. Oh. Of course, will, will the people lie? And I got tired. I said, no, something, there has to be something wrong. See, let me tell you, when you love God and love people, you will not excuse lack of results. They will draw you back to the secret place. And I began to pray. I began to pray. I said, Lord, there has to be a way. And the Lord let me know. There are many factors, but the anointing is there, my son. But the capacity is small. You have eaten away some space. Huh? yes the power is flowing and food just stands like a customs officer 
and the power cannot flow. But by the time you trust God for grace to scatter the walls of gluttony and open up your capacity, you will not even know that that case is represented in your meeting. While there was a time I didn't just used to speak upon people and it will happen. This creative dimension of the prophetic, it was not there. It was not intentional. The results were not repeatable. Many men of God will not open up to you like this and share with you what I'm saying. Because everybody has his reputation. I would speak to someone. People would come and I cannot remember talking to them because I'm not, I didn't even expect it to happen. I just spoke at random. Maybe one minor case that was under your grace was quickly answered. But you get to a point where you can tell him, go, I know you will come back with a testimony. My brothers and my sisters, it is not the mouth, it's the spirit, it's the capacity. This is what demons see. When demons look at you, they don't see your head, your shoulders, your knees, or your toes. They see your spirit man. The largeness of your heart. You may look tiny physically, but boy, they see what is there. And you make one decree and you open up doors. I thank God for the grace to do that today. And I thank God for the levels that we continue to press. Because in this school, you never graduate. You just move higher and higher. The day you graduate, you, you, you plateau there and you go down. When I have the privilege to pray with people, I didn't like praying with people before. I like praying alone with God, but not praying with people because of the frustration. The results were there, but they were not many. Just like it's happening to some of you. Man of God, can you pray for me? Say, let's pray. You finish praying, no results, no testimonies. Can you believe God that in these seven days that something will tear open in you huh? that there can be a capacity please help her a capacity a largeness of heart listen to me my brothers and my sisters it is the size that you carry in the spirit hmm, that determines your result i'm telling you this if i pour water on this cup it is only the size of this cup that can take. If anything outside that, it will just waste away. So sometimes it's not more anointing. It is, oh God, expand me. Expand me. Expand me. I'm tired of this level of testimonies. Headache, headache, headache here. And then all oh, my teeth. <clears throat> I, I need to shift nations. I need to stand and look over a family and say it has, it's, it has come to pass. Listen to me. If you're a man of God here, hear me. We're going to pray. Make sure you keep vetting what you are doing. Don't keep going to people's homes and waking them in the night. Doing night vigil from 10 to 5. And then at the end of it, two weeks later, they tell you nothing has happened. You say, let's do it again. Please, don't frustrate people. If that grace is not there, go and work on yourself. There are, some, there are some ministry publicity you should not do until you are ready. Healing service. Healing, healing, healing. Bring the sick. And we mock ourselves. 90 sick people come and only one person who is not even sure. He's not there. Abba. Is divine power. This ministry, you see, my brothers and my sisters, is sitting on a large, there is capacity in the spirit that makes for this. All the people you see come, it's not just because they like a man, it's more than that. There is capacity. There is capacity. There is capacity. There are certain regions you don't do certain kinds of ministries and go scot free. The devil will attack you and destroy that ministry. I'm challenging many of you. You are anointed, but your capacity is small. Your results show it. Your words don't carry power. You, there's too much talk.
too much talk, too much grammar, too much talk, too much grammar, too much talk. We need to settle down. Get this thing for real. Get real spiritual power. I've already been setting myself during this prayer and fasting to say, Lord, there are, there are dimensions. There are dimensions. Look at the way you have kept your fellowship small because where you stopped is where the fellowship stopped. It can't grow more than you again. Look at where you kept your prayer group because you are small. You continue recycling mediocrity and clapping for yourself. Oh, you are MOG. You are this, whereas there are heights and virgin dimensions in the spirit. You know, let me tell you, when I see men of God sometimes and I see our pride, I stand and I wonder. I said, compared to what results? Where is the result? When there are still families crying, where is the result? How many times did you pray for people? Do you know when people drop prayer requests here, more than once, when I sit down and I hear people saying, I dropped my prayer request January, I dropped my prayer request February, I dropped my, it does something to me. I'm not saying you should know, I'm saying, ah, did you have to drop it three times to be answered? That if you come for koinonia once, once, it's enough for your miracle. The rest should just be growth. Once, not twice. The next time is you bringing someone else. Enlightenment is good. But many of us, our capacities are small. That's why you finish fasting. And as soon as you finish your prayer meeting, as you are lying down, the spirits come back again. The spirits are testifying something. Apostle, I prayed three days. As soon as I was lying down, the same spirit that used to oppress me came back. Let me tell you, there is a level of fire. My brothers and my sisters hear me. Let me tell you, even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. Jesus prayed all night. How long? How long, please? Not all day. I've told you about the mystery of the night. Capacity. It takes a long time. So that you don't fool yourself. You just look at someone and feel you are falling down. I'm falling down. You are the same. It's a joke. It's a big, it's a serious joke. There are people who can speak over nations. I prayed and cried for that grace. I said, Lord, how there are regions that I may not have the opportunity to come more than once. Why should the people die? Capacity. This is the problem. It's too small. Too small. You are praying. Too small. You are speaking. It's too small. Laying hands. Too small. And so God cannot honor you. That grace is too small. Listen, it's time to come up here. Throw away the little, little results. Eh? Uh, thank God for the small results. But my brothers and sisters, we need to delve into something deeper. Deeper. The grace to change climates and change territories. Not saying a lot of talk that we cannot defend. There are still ailing people. Is there no bam in Gilead? You are getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. Five over ten. Is that a pass? They invite you into a family. Serve you lunch as a man of God. Take care of you. Even sow a seed for you. And then they say pray for us. And you pray and nothing happens. The spirits just watch you and nod their head. And you prayed in Jesus' name. Kai, somebody needs to be angry and say, no more, no more, no more. Is it not a season of extraordinary fruitfulness? No more, no more. No more. No more. Oh. Presence. Oh, in your presence.
apostle but there's nothing apostolic about me they call me prophet but there's nothing prophetic about me it can't continue like this is someone praying increase my capacity increase my capacity according to the power according to the power according to the power thank you for yesterday's result but lord i press to the challenges of today thank you for the healings of yesterday Thank you for the miracles of yesterday. Thank you for the signs, the prophecy of yesterday. But Lord, I am dissatisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You know you have entered a new dimension by the things that begin to answer to you. When I call you and you do not come, it's called dishonor. It means you do not regard me. So when you call healing at a dimension and it does not come, when you call breakthroughs at a dimension and it does not come, is the realm of the spirit answering you. You don't have the capacity to make that demand. Listen, you're going to cry for this, for staying power. It takes stamina and grace. These things are not easy in the flesh. It takes grace. It takes grace. It takes grace. Lift your voice and pray. The stamina, the power that stays, oh God. The power that stays. 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 Alan, 
Hallelujah. 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 Elijah was a man of like passion. Elijah was a man like us. One thing separated him. He prayed earnestly, not casually, not circumstantially. He prayed earnestly that there be no rain and gave the timing three and a half years. Had he said ten years, there will be no rain on earth for ten years. Not by the will of God, by the dictates of a man. The largeness of your capacity. The largeness of your capacity. i like you to open your mouth. Start to correct things in your life. Start to speak over things. I disallow, I disallow. I disallow, I disallow, I disallow failure. I disallow weakness. Is someone praying? I disallow oppression over my family. I disallow poverty. I disallow hardship. Shabas kaba shala kato zabra. Embra kato kaparato sesekete. Embra kato skabarada bashataba. I disallow failure in ministry. It shall not be like before. I enter a new season. I disallow joblessness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we're done. Lord, honor my life with strange results. Strange results. Whether you are a man of God or not, let it please you, oh God. Honor my ministry. Honor my business. A strange order. Notable results. Notable results. Notable financial results. Notable supernatural results. Outside, are you praying? Honor my life with strange results. Results beyond debate. Results beyond contesting. Results beyond argument. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Honor my church with results. Honor my fellowship with results. Honor my prayer group with results. Honor my family, my wife, my husband, my children. Hallelujah. Listen, listen to me. What are results? Supernatural workings of God's spirit. Possibilities that only God can produce.
you are a man of God, you are a prophet, your eyes are blind, your ears are blind, you are not hearing, seeing anything. Abba! Listen, let me tell you this. The last prayer, you are going to say, oh God, make me dissatisfied with this current level. Listen, 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 listen. There are many of us, your spiritual growth process was corrupted when they started giving you honorarium from one ministration whether people are blessed or not they say take 10 naira take 20 naira they now invite you to one fellowship and you stop growing come on please or when you started a church papa apostle joshua selman and you stop growing oh everybody's listening to your messages around the world that's child's play Must get to a dimension where like Samuel you are a man whose word cannot fall to the ground Lord the dissatisfaction that will push me to the next level plant it in me plant it in me plant it in me It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you more than little miracles it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know, we know there's, more. there's more that's found in you it's in you lord It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. We know. There's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. There's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more than found in you. So why is favor not coming? There is a dimension of his divine power that needs to be released. Why are my meetings not characterized by the power and the presence of God? There is a dimension. There is a dimension of his divine power that is still missing. Look, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, I'd like you to, don't, don't be too soft on yourself within this period. You will not die. Carry something that the world will thank God on your life for. Don't, don't carry what will make you fight with others. Don't carry what will make you feel insecure when a man of God comes. No. God can grant you something solid upon your life.
that your life becomes a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Our time is gone. Listen, please let me encourage you sincerely. Whoever you love and you know, please let those, these seven days, prayer and fasting is not a koinonia meeting. This is a portal for the body of Christ to enter into dimensions of possibilities. No matter the sacrifice that God can grant you grace to make, there are families that have been tied down. And the good thing is that we are stretching it down and wrapping up with our miracle service for April. How can you become the same? How can you remain the same? Come with definite expectations. Your marriage, sit with your wife, sit with your children. What are the things that we must see, not may see? His divine power is able to provide it. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. That the grace and the anointing that it takes to stay with God until your spiritual capacity is enlarged beyond your current realm. I declare, let that grace be released upon you. The spiritual experience that you need to be subject to immersed into that will expand your capacity to release the power of God that is vested within you in the name of Jesus 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 the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I stand to declare upon you, upon your spirit man, in the name of Jesus, I declare and I speak upon you. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless you for tonight. We declare that forever your name be praised your name be exalted in jesus name please be seated if you can god bless you please be seated if you can hallelujah just help those under the anointing. I want to make an altar call right now. Our time is gone. There are people, please let's minimize moving around. There are people seated here. Some of you came for this meeting tonight for the first time. And while I was teaching or while the worship was going on or any part of the service, the spirit of the Lord was ministering to you and was saying it's time for your life to be right with God. There is no coercion about it. Overflow 3, overflow 2, overflow 1 by the roadside, those following online, he said ye must be born again. Or there are others who are rededicating their lives to Christ. You're saying, Apostle, I've given my heart to the Lord, but I see a need to rededicate my life. I'm going to count one to five because of our time. I want you to boldly stand up and come and stand right here. Aside from overflow three, for time's sake, I may just request that you walk to the front of your projector stand, but overflow one, overflow two, the main auditorium, quickly. I'm counting one to five. One. Let's celebrate them. Stand, please, for space two. 
Don't sit thinking about it. It doesn't take a long time to know you need Jesus. Three. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. I've been around the things of God. And so I, I hope I, I'm born again, but I am not sure. Come and be born into a real experience. Not religion. A real experience. A real experience. There are still some of you sitting outside. You need to rush. Rush if you are coming. Run. Run and come quickly. I want to come but I'm ashamed of my friend. We came together. Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men. I will be ashamed of you before my father. Are you joining them? A few seconds for you. And those online. Your physical presence may not be here but connect. Come. Look at my dear children. Join them quickly. Young, old together. Hallelujah. I salute you, every one of you. You see, when you come to hand your life over to Jesus, you don't come as if you are receiving punishment. It's a joy. It's a gift. He's giving you a gift. And some of you are rededicating your life. He can always give you a new beginning. Please lift your right hand and say after me sincerely, Jesus is right in this place. Know that. He's here. And he's listening to you. Not all of you, but you. Say, Lord Jesus, I declare that I love you with all my heart. I have heard your word. And I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. Tonight, I receive your life. The abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I declare that from tonight, I'm saved. I'm a child of God. I move forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you for this once young and old alike you have brought them you are able to keep that which is committed unto you against that day and so i pray oh god that you will keep these precious ones let this be a journey that will lead them into unimaginable dimensions of kingdom relevance i bless you i decree and declare that the grace to walk in victory is granted unto you and i pray that you begin to enjoy the ministry of the holy spirit in an unusual dimension from tonight in jesus name i pray amen and amen thank you for making this decision um there are two ladies waving their hands and a gentleman there any of the directions please just follow them they will lead you to a group of people who will just talk to you very very briefly please cooperate with them god bless you let's celebrate them hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.